All right, so we're going to look at a simple way to create a meme from scratch without using any application other than what's included in Google Drive. So what I would do first before you get started, because we're going to create a lot of memes in this course, uh, is to click the new button and give yourself a meme folder in your Drive account. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to click folder and memes for personal finance. That's the course I'm, we're doing this for right now. I'm going to hit create. And then, okay, I've got a folder. Now, before you get in there and start making memes, I would set this folder so that everything inside it is shared. So you don't have to sh share everything in the folder individually. You can do it all at once. So I'm going to click get shareable link. And right now it's restricted. I'm going to change that. I'm going to change it so that anyone with the link can access it. I'm going to click that. And I don't need the link right now, but the idea is now everything I create in this folder will be automatically shared, or at least it should be. And we'll try that out. We'll see if there are any issues. So why don't you take a moment and pause the video, create a folder, and make sure that it is shared. And I would even make it public. So go ahead and do that. Pause the video. Okay, so let's go into that folder and let's get memeing. I have no idea if that's a phrase, but I just said it. The way I'm going to make a meme, I'm going to use Google Slides. Now, there are lots of ways to do this. This is one way that I think will work well for our course. So I'm not the meme master here. I'm not saying this is the only way to do it. I'm going to create it. And you can see right here, we've set the folder to share. So we're actually going to create and share as we go along. And it's just verifying that, saying, hey, the thing you're creating is already shared. So now I'm in slides, and maybe I haven't done this before. So let's just clear some things off. I'm going to X that out. The first thing I want to do, I want to create a meme that is a square image. There are no exact rules there on the dimensions. But let's be consistent here. And if you're posting a meme to a certain social media site, you can Google the dimensions that you need. You could type in dimensions for and then whatever site you're posting to. But for our class, I like to do 600 by 600 pixels, not inches. So I'm going to click File, go down to Page Setup, and I'm going to go to Custom here. First thing I'm going to do is toggle from inches to pixels. Then I'm going to set it to 600 by 600. And again, make sure you're in pixels, not inches. That'll mess it up. And then click Apply. Now you have a square. So why don't you do, do that? Take a moment, go to the file, set it to 600 by 600 pixels, pause the video, and set it up. OK, so now we're ready to finish our meme with an image and with some text. So I'm going to delete what they have on there. There are lots of ways to search images. You can search for specific ratios and all this stuff. But I just wanted to share a site that I think will work really nicely for you. So let's let's do that. I like this site I found. It's called unsplash.com. Unsplash, if you look at it right here, look what it's saying. It's saying it's a source for freely usable images. So this is great for you in general. If you're creating something and you need an image, you might have to credit the person who made the image, but you're free to use these images. And you can check the details if you'd like to see more. Um, but I want an image of Yoda. And I'll take the first one I see for demonstration purposes. Here I'm going to download the photo. Okay. And so I'm on a Mac right now, so I'm going to find it in my finder. And then I'm going to put it into my presentation. So I click it, and here it is, right? And all I've got to do is get that image here into this presentation. So maybe the easiest way actually to do that is to click Insert, go to Image, Upload from my computer. There it is. I upload it. And what I like to do is just line it up. And it's not square. You can search for square images if you want. But I like to enlarge it. And what I'm going to do is line up the right side of it, and then I'm going to crop it so it fits on my document. Now as I pull this back and forth, you can see the border of the page right there. And 
There we go, we've got our image. So why don't you pause the video, go grab your image, put it in here, crop it up so it fits, and then press play when you're ready. All right, I think the final step is to insert some text. And I'm gonna put a text box up here. And for our memes, let's use the classic meme font, which is impact. So I'm gonna click that right here, impact. And I'm just gonna type something. This is a, a meme about what's called your money. So it's on your take on money and, and this is my attitude on money and, and I'll write spend it. All right, and I'm gonna enlarge that. So estimate a C60. Okay, looks better. Let's do 90, not 900. And I'm gonna make it uh, stand out, spend it. And if you know about Yoda, they're just copied and pasted. He says things backwards, so I'll say, spend it, you will. And now I have a meme, and that's really it. Now I'm gonna title it uh, Yoda Meme. And for our class, we're gonna share the memes as a PNG file, which I think I prefer. So I'm gonna go to File, and then I'm going to download it as a PNG image right there, and it's gonna download. Now what I'm gonna do, the way I like to do this, is I'm gonna add that file in my memes folder here. So I'm gonna to go to add a file, and there's my PNG file right there. And now I have a PNG file, <laughs> so that PNG, it sounded like I said PNG file, uh, an image basically, and the slide that made it. Now I'm ready to submit my meme.